Welcome back. You're watching The Money Show on ET Now. Well, uh, on this segment of the show, we are going to be talking about fixed maturity plans. A kind of a mutual fund, but something different about this one. You know, in fact, uh, let me bring on board somebody who will be able to explain this concept a lot better. And in fact, a fund that has actually been launching quite a few fixed maturity plans as well. That's SBI Mutual Fund. And I have with me Mr. D.P. Singh, Chief Business Officer with SBI Mutual Fund. Mr. Singh, thank you so much for taking out time and joining us today on The Money Show. So let's start mm -hmm. off first by introducing the FMPs or the fixed maturity plans to our viewers. I know they've been around for a while, but uh, you know, if you just had to put them in simple words for our viewers, what exactly are they? Yeah. The fixed maturity plans are, are actually a capital market uh, instrument in which the investor money is, is uh, invested in the uh, instruments, in the debt instruments which have a fixed coupon for a particular period. Say if you have uh, money to put in for three years, so the fund will collect the money, put in the securities of three years, that is, uh, uh, I mean, the majority of which will happen either on the majority debt or before that. And that money is put in, in the way we create a portfolio of uh, debt securities and uh, see what kind of debt securities are uh, purchased and uh, what is the yield on that, that is passed on to the investors. That is passed on to the investors uh, after deducting the whatever the expenses are. So that is generally, generally that these, these yields are higher than the, the uh, running FD rates, fixed deposit rates of banks. So, so that's how it works better for them. And uh, see, it's, it's, it's like for a fixed period at a fixed coupon kind of instruments, which, which are put in, but, but definitely the quality of the securities will determine the, the security and safety of the particular FMP. Okay, Mr. Singh, two follow-up questions here. One is, um, can I, can the investor in an FMP expect some sort of a frequent income at that fixed token uh, or you know coupon? What we say. And um, secondly, what has been the average return in an FMP versus you know what you get today, uh, say in a one-year or a three-year fixed deposit? So generally, on a on a period of three years, uh, see uh, the returns are generally 50 to 100 basis points higher than the bank deposits. Uh, but it it depends upon the cycle at on which in which you are putting in money. So we talk today, and today I mean uh, I I presume the FDs for three years are available at five five and a half percent, and where the three year uh, SDS state uh, loans, state development loans. Uh, which is uh, considered as the safest uh, as, as government securities and and uh, the, the, the three year corporate papers of very very high credit quality will have around 100 basis point more than the uh, the, the, the prevailing uh, fixed deposit rates and after deducting the expenses so they generally should give 50 to 75 basis point this is as on date but these these range is different from time to time this is what is today in any point of time it will differ from so 25 basis point to 125 basis points. That what are the rates at that point of time. And this I'm talking about a very, very safe kind of portfolio. If we go up in the credit risk thing, then, then the, this, this difference keeps on going up. But this is for the entry level for very safe. Okay. Um, so if I have to talk about, um, you know, a fixed maturity plan, Mr. Singh, how would you look at the, uh, the riskometer, as we call it now in SEBI language, which is something that all mutual funds as well have to disclose? Um, you know, uh, if, if I have to compare it with, you know, a debt fund, how would you compare the risk that an FMB carries? Yeah, yeah, then the whole tax efficiency will go for a toss. So, so the, the, the basic purpose of putting money in FMB today is, being a capital instrument, whatever gain is there, uh, if it is for three year plus period, it is considered as long term capital gain, which is tax, the, any gain is taxed as a long term capital gain. So that means uh, you have the benefit of indexation, uh, putting in a simple word, and the inflation during these three years will be deducted from the total gain. So, uh, just to give an example, if the return is 6% per year, that is on a simple basis, it will be 18% gross. And if the inflation is say 5%, it will be 15% for three years. 
So 15% will be reduced from 18% on the remaining 3% only, one has to pay 20% tax. So the tax efficiency is huge in FMB. So oh, very, very suitable for high income bracket uh, individuals who want very, very safe portfolio and can park the money for three years. Okay. Um, Mr. Singh, now, you know, we are looking at a low interest rate environment. In fact, we've been in a low interest rate environment since, what, April 2020. Uh, like you said, right, a, a fixed deposit today yields, what, 5, 5.5, 5 6%. So I if I have to look at a, a, a more market-linked product, which I suppose FMP would be compared to a fixed deposit, um, how would you look at investing in FMPs, particularly in this low interest rate environment? See, it depends upon whether uh, the individual, if I as an individual have to put in money and I have surplus money today, and there are two things I can do. I park the money right away or I wait for some, If I even if I feel that interest are likely to go up, for how long I'll keep it just like that at 2.5-3%. Uh, so the, the benefit of the higher interest rate will go away if I wait for three months to six months. And if it further goes down, so it's better that I, I lock in the uh, money at today's yield only for three years and take the benefit of this. So there can be only two scenarios, either interest rate will go down or interest rate will go up. So we have been for a very, very long period at in the lowering interest rate scenario. Today, when there are views on both sides that interest rate may go a little up because inflation is high. but when and uh, how much that is anybody's question any, anybody's uh, guess so so in such a scenario anybody who wants uh, to have a, a safe portfolio can block the money for three years one is in the height income bracket so I, I, I feel that this is the best instrument as far as liquidity is concerned yes you can't uh, see we can't uh, repurchase these units uh, uh, as we do in an open ended fund but there are always opportunities of uh, when in, in dire uh, circumstances you can always raise a loan against FMP. And uh, today banks are giving loan against uh, FMPs at a very, very attractive rate. So it's not that prohibitive interest rate you will get it. You will get it at a normal rate of 8, 8.5, 9% you can get the uh, I mean, uh, loan against FMPs whenever you need Uh, Mr. Singh, you know, in the beginning you mentioned that the investor has a, a choice for how long he wants to uh, keep his money in the FMP. So if you could just talk to us a little bit about that as well, because you spoke about, you know, that the fact that there is a little low liquidity, at least to, the, to a certain time period, you can take a loan, of course. But yeah, uh, you know, can I determine my time horizon, how long I want to be in FMP? How does that work? No. See, the FMPs are not available on tap. As uh, you rightly said in the beginning, uh, see, very few fund houses are, are coming out with FMPs, including SB Mutual Fund. A reason for that is that we have a very strong network of uh, um, distributors as well as of state bank branches, wherein we can uh, see uh, get investors from this uh, category of people who are ready to put money. Others have not been able to um, and, uh, uh, attract many investors. That is number one. But whenever these come, these come for a specific period. And why I'm uh, mentioning three years time and again, simply because of the reason that the income tax uh, rules uh, determine the long-term capital gain for debt securities is three years plus. So we come out with the product in such a manner that individual who puts in money in FMP gets the long-term capital gain benefit. So, so the tax is for generally for three years, but sometimes what happens recently, we came out for four years and five years also. Uh, if people who know about the debt markets, there are different interest rates for different maturity securities. At one point of time, we saw that that three-year paper is not very attractive, but four and a half year, five-year paper is very attractive as far as interest rates are concerned. So we came out with the uh, customized FMP for four, four and a half years, five years, so that we can give better returns to the investors. So basically, when the, the choice is very limited, I can't really, really choose uh, what uh, when whether I can do it for one year or one and a half year and so on and so forth. It has to be generally whatever uh, is available at that point of time in the market. But generally, it would be three year plus. So that that's how it is. And why we are not coming out with the short term FMPs? The simple reason is the short term FMPs 
uh, the, the uh, whatever gain will be there will be taxed as short term capital gain, which is not very attractive. If I put it one year, one the gap between one year FD and one year FMP will be 25, 30 basis point. But whatever return will come will be taxed as for my marginal rate. If I'm in 30 percent category, it will come at 30. If I'm in 40 percent category, it will be taxed at 40 percent. So, so that doesn't make much sense. So we'll not have much investors for that. So we generally come up with three years plus category uh, period uh, FMPs. Okay, so, so I got the concept largely. Now, Mr. Singh, you know, because we want to give a very holistic picture as well to our viewers, you know, you mentioned SBI Mutual Fund is one of the few coming out uh, with quite a few FMPs. So to start with, um, you know, w what's the reason, what sort of investor interest are you seeing in FMPs? And also, again, like I said, we want to give a holistic picture to our viewers. So what should be all the risks? Uh, associated with an FMP because at the end of the day it is a market link product right it's not you know yeah. backed by the government or anything so yeah. what should be the risks as well associated with this that our viewers should be aware of yeah first and foremost risk is the liquidity risk as I told you earlier also it's not available when it's not redeemable whenever you want it it can be redeemed only after a period of three years but for that the risk mitigation is that if you need money First, you should put money only if you are sure that you don't need it uh, for three years. But in case you have some emergency and somebody wants to have some liquidity against it, so he has uh, two options. One, all the FMPs are listed in the market. You can sell it in the market. But what we have seen practically is there are hardly any buyers and uh, see hardly any, any uh, deals happen in the market. Though it is listed on the stock exchange. The second alternative is to, 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 to get a loan against it, for which you will definitely have to pay a little higher uh, interest than what you, uh, the return you will be earning on this FMP. Uh, that is one risk. Second risk is if the investments are made in such securities, which are, I mean, uh, there's, there's a credit risk involved. If we put in a CP of, or a low grade paper, so then, then there's definitely a credit risk. But as I told you earlier, most of the FMPs which we are coming out with, we generally uh, see uh, tell investors that what kind of portfolio will be there. And most of the FMPs which we are coming out with are, are government securities, state development loans, and AAA rated, very high uh, credit for the uh, CPs. So, so here the, the credit risk is uh, very, very minimal. So hardly anything, right? So, so for that, that, that's not to be, um, uh, 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 that should not be the concern. And third, of course, as you talked about, that uh, regular income cannot be saved. As, as happens in case of FDs or any other instrument, you will not have the regular income. You will get the cumulative money at the end of three years. Okay. Well, I think, Mr. Singh, with that, we've got a complete and holistic picture of fixed maturity plans. Thank you so much for introducing this uh, product to our viewers. We don't talk about it very often, but it's indeed uh, quite an interesting one. Um, works somewhat like an F FD, but except that it gives you better returns. Uh, but yeah, just like an FD, you know, your money as well is locked in. Uh, you can get a loan as well. Uh, and plus, you have the tax benefits as well associated with it. Thank you so much once again, Mr. Singh. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Well, on that note, we are going to take a very short break on this.